Welcome to the fish tank. Hey everybody, Fishman here, and welcome to another video. It is unfortunately time that I'm going to need to shut down uh, most of the underground filter uh, comparisons I was doing. Partially because of these little guys. Uh, these are Hydra. They've got into one of my aquariums. And because I treat all the tanks in this uh, little experiment, which is six of them, identically, I mean, there, there's uh, no difference in what goes into them, uh, water changes and everything else, and plants and all that sort of stuff, there is actually only one source uh, that is possible for the Hydra, and that is uh, the planter media, the uh, biomedia that those little pellets you can get for growing plants. Uh, I can't actually remember what it's called. I don't really want to name any brands anyway, but that is the only thing that's different with this tank as compared to all the others. So it is the only source for it, and so I have to. Uh, strip this tank down a little bit. Uh, it's not too difficult to get rid of hydras, but I don't really want to risk it spreading anywhere else. Guppy babies are usually large enough that it's not really a big issue, uh, but there's, you know, shrimplets in here and copepods and all that sort of stuff, so this really does have to be uh, dealt with. So unfortunately I have to throw it all the plants, which is not really a big deal because I throw tons of these things uh, on a <laughs> monthly basis anyway. Uh, so I need to get rid of that. I need to clean up the filters, uh, get rid of the uh, undergravel filter part, uh, clean that all out, and then, of course, uh, get it reset. And once that, the hydra is under control, uh, then I can use this tank for other things, of course. I mean, I'm doing a lot of guppy breeding right now, which, as you can see here. Uh, but I need to get that all set up. And then, unfortunately, like I said, the undergravel filter comparisons are probably going to stop except for three of them. And then those three, I think, will continue. Now, the other reason for stopping this at this point is one of the other underground filters, and that one will be this one here. This is the very expensive center glass, uh, the little cone-shaped things that you can uh, use as biomedia and mostly in canister filters. The water is a little cloudy. Uh, there's mulm. Uh, it's actually not doing a whole lot of real filtration. Uh, I mean, you can see the difference in clarity between these two tanks. But the main reason is, I don't mind the, clarity, the lack of clarity. I mean, underground filters don't necessarily uh, give the same kind of mechanical filtration. But I noticed the growth rate of the guppies, the baby guppies. They're all getting the same uh, food and everything else. But these guys are not growing as quickly. They're a, a little stunted, and that's not acceptable. I can't have that. I mean, the plants are growing well, uh, I mean, there's no disease or they're not looking ill or anything. They're just not growing as fast, so I have to shut that one down. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to uh, put the, the center glass media into uh, some box filters and put some media in there and then see if that actually makes the difference. Uh, it may just be the fact that it has so much void volume uh, that the flow through it is not uh, dispersed enough. It's not, you know, getting water uh, from all parts of it. It's just going through one area and then that small area can't really uh, supply enough biofiltration for the whole tank. Now there's an awful lot of baby guppies in there, but it should be able to take care of that. Now the other four are going to keep going. Uh, the marine one obviously is way too new. It's, it hasn't even cycled yet. Actually there's going to be a clip of, or two of that coming up. And I'm actually quite happy with the progress on that, but it's going to need to take time. Now the other three, especially these two here, uh, these are the two gravel ones. Uh, they're doing really well. Uh, they're stable. The fish grow well. You can see how active they all are. I'll get a little bit of cloudy water once in a while. Uh, like I said, mechanical filtration is not the best thing for uh, underground filters, but they're doing really well. I want to keep them going. And the other one is the lava rock one, and I'm going to keep that one going as well. But I'm going to tear down the centered uh, glass one. I'm going to show you uh, clips of that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, here it is here, I'm going to pull it all out and I'm going to stick uh, it in box filters because that way it will force the water to go over them and I suspect it will perform a lot better there. So I'm just going to put some in here. Obviously uh, I'm going to divide this up into two of them and then the extra I'm just going to leave scattered on the bottom and uh, that's all the plants that were in there. But this is the problem. This is what, unfortunately, is not being taken care of by that centered glass. It's just, it's a mess. 
So I'm not going to do... I mean, well, actually, this is one good thing I really like about this. It was growing an awful lot of Grammaris or Scuds, and it was doing really well for the shrimp, as you can see here. But the filtration is just not there. Uh, so we'll see how that all ends up. This is the very next day. No water changes, nothing. It's just having it with the box filter, and you can see the improvement. Now, I'm going to obviously do water changes and everything else in this as well, but it's just, it's just not good enough. So here is the hydro tank. <laughs> Actually, I really shouldn't call it that. Uh, this is the other tank I have to get rid of, the hydras. I've started, I pruned back a lot of the plants. I'm going to get rid of a lot more of them. I'm going to get rid of the under gravel filter there and clean it out. There's actually a lot less now and it's actually easier for me to uh, get around to dealing with it and by then you'll see that it's uh, mostly gone so that's fine too. So that's pretty much uh, the progress on this. Like I said I'm happy with three of the setups um, but like I said we're gonna have to see how this goes. This is the marine one. It's uh, like I said this is not results guys. This is just preliminaries. Uh, the corals aren't even fully out yet because the water is not stable enough yet. Uh, they're fine, they're, they're open, uh, so everything's okay, I mean they're healthy, they're not dying or anything, but for, the, for them to thrive, uh, the water is going to have to get to a point where it is a lot more stable, where they're, uh, <laughs> it seems kind of a weird saying confident or whatever, but they have to be uh, willing to open up all the way and that's not going to happen yet. <laughs> it's going to take a fair amount of time for that filter ma to mature uh, but once it does uh, I actually have uh, fairly reasonable confidence on this that it's going to do okay. Now it's not going to be like uh, some people have suggested putting on uh, what they call them 20k but actinic lights and that would obviously make this uh, a lot prettier and they will do a lot better but unfortunately it's not uh, cost effective. This is just something silly I did. Uh, the egg filter I uh, pulled apart uh, that's the lift stack was all covered in algae. Well I thought well I'll just stick it in here just keep it wet and then I'll clean it in a few days. Well apparently a bunch of ram's horn snails decided to get in there and they cleaned it. And actually they did a really good job. I thought it was like this is just kind of funny. I haven't scrubbed this or anything. I just dropped it in there and you can see all the snail poop at the bottom of the pipe. <laughs> it was just kind of bizarre. And this is the other uh, undergrowth, uh, sorry, the other box filter I set up with uh, the cinder glass media. I put that down in this tank. I pruned tons of plants of this. You'll remember from before, uh, it was just overcrowded. And I you know, put a bunch of guppies down in there. These are the platies, the hyphen ones. Um, I've got actually a good variety of different colors. I need to cull a lot of this back, uh, pick out the ones I really want to keep for breeding, and then the rest are going to go to clients. And this is the tank that had all the guppies in it. And as you can see, there's a lot fewer now because I've been uh, putting them out into clients' tanks. Uh, I picked up the males that I want. Uh, most of the really nice ones are up in the under gravel filter with the uh, high humidity planter filter. And I'm going to keep them there for now. Uh, all the Everything else went into the big tank, the, the big long tank. And these guys are all going to go away. And then I'm going to put uh, spread these babies out and get them growing and hopefully uh, get more more and more uh, baby guppies and get a good population boom going. So these guys are doing well. I mean, I pull babies out of here regularly. Uh, that male still has a serious attitude problem. Uh, but now that I uh, took up the Mickey Mouse platies, he's actually reasonable. So for some reason he had a thing against them. And these are the these are going to be the main breeding group, I think. I'll pull females from here every now and then when they look like they're ready to pop and I'll put them in a separate tank which I'll probably use uh, the two tanks that I've taken down, uh, these ones here, once I spread them out a bit and use them for uh, raising mostly the, the guppies and stuff. And as you can see, the uh, no clog air stone is doing really well, but it's only been about two, three weeks, so we'll have to wait on that one. Now this is the where the hydro were, and as you can see, there's an awful lot less of it now, and actually, shortly I suspect I'll get rid of it all. So anyway, that's pretty much the update. I think I'm going to pan one more time over to uh, the two end tanks. I actually don't really show you uh, the undergravel filter with the lava rock that much. That's coming up. And the nice thing about it is this young lady here. This is an OB convict. I pulled her out. She's the nicest female I had in the last batch of uh, did breeding. 
She's got great colors. I put her in here by herself just to fatten her up and get her uh, ready to you know, pick a male for her. Hopefully it won't be too abusive. And I want to, know to breed them again. So anyway, if you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe. And like I said, I'm going to keep this going, obviously, especially this one here. And we'll see how we'll see how it progresses. There are some a few things I want to show you about it, uh, but that's obviously for a much later date. It'll still pop in every now and then. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. And bye for now.